see you there. I was just looking at some C. elegans. What is a C. elegans? I'm glad you asked. Here to help me explain is Ellie, the C. elegans. She is a one millimeter long nematode or roundworm. Some roundworms can live in your intestines. Yum, but she can't. She is a model organism used to help scientists study human biology. She also makes an excellent scarf. But let's back it up a little. I'm Katie Silverman, and I'm here to talk about what these tiny worms have to do with the future of human life extension. You've probably heard of intermittent fasting, a new health trend where people stop eating for periods of time to detoxify their cells or something. I don't know, it's kind of a bad diet right now, and it's often presented in a less than scientific way. But when done properly, there's some real biology behind it. Every one of our cells is equipped with a tiny protein complex called mTORC1. It has a lot of jobs, but one of them is that when your cell doesn't get enough nutrients, it sets off a chain reaction that triggers autophagy, a process by which your cell actually digests its organelles. Digesting yourself may not sound like a great way to spend a Tuesday night, but believe it or not, it's good for you. The organelles that get digested first are the ones that are old or damaged, the ones that, if left unchecked, would lead to cellular senescence. A senescent cell is like a zombie cell a cell that can't figure out how to kill itself and it doesn't die even though it should, so it just sends out cries for help that annoy the other cells and cause them to get inflamed. We think that senescent cells is one of, if not the, main cause of aging. So autophagy prevents senescence. That's good. What does it have to do with my very cute scarf? Well, I triggered using CRISPR in, well, not Ellie, but <laughs> real nematodes like her, autophagy by turning off a gene called lethal gene 363 or LET363 for short, it is homologous or does the same job as a human gene called mTOR, which creatively controls the similarly named mTORC1. When this gene is turned off, autophagy is totally unchecked. Whether or not there's enough nutrients, the cells just keep digesting themselves. Again, not a super fun way to spend a Tuesday night, but the results were extraordinary. Let's start with the not so good. Um, they tended to like to digest their intestines first, which led to some unpleasant intestinal atrophy. Interestingly, you don't even see that when you starve them. So that's new. There was also some gonadal degeneration. Um, gonads, for those unfamiliar, are basically the ovaries and testes of these worms. Again, probably was not their first choice of an activity. But there were some good results too. Nematodes go through several stages of aging, sort of like humans. We call them larval stages. So like infanthood, toddlerdom, adolescence, very approximately, because obviously they're one millimeter long worms and not very complex human people. Larval stage three is sort of like when nematodes start puberty, except it never finished. In mid to late larval stage three, these nematodes who had uncontrolled autophagy just stopped aging full developmental arrest. If you stopped aging at the age of 12, would that be worth digesting your intestines? Probably not. But stopping aging wasn't all. Wild type nematodes like these ones are expected to live around 10 days. These nematodes with uncontrolled autophagy lived for 25. And again, that wasn't because they completed their life cycle. They were still 12 year old worms. Uh, metaphorical lost boys. Lost worms, new band name, not relevant. These worms starved to death because they weren't able to digest anything other than their own cells. This is huge. If we can figure out a way to trigger this process in just the right proportion, where instead of totally uncontrolled autophagy, there's just enough to digest just enough cells to stop you from aging without starving to death, we could create a pill that would work like intermittent fasting custom made for your body. It would create autophagy at the perfect rate to live maybe even indefinitely, or at least for a considerable amount of time. There's no pill like that right now. It's one of my dreams to create that. But in the meantime, you can research intermittent fasting to get similar effects and buy a super cute nematode doll like Ellie from giantmicrobes.com. Not sponsored, just love her. Love you, Ellie. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and check out my medium at katiesilverman.medium.com. Thank you.